Well, good morning. We are in Honolulu, Hawaii, and we are out for a nice walk today down by the water here in East Honolulu and the Hawaii Kai area. I really enjoy this area. It's the area that I call home. And coming back from South America, it's wonderful to roam around and enjoy myself here. You know, I'm getting ready to continue on back towards Asia. And as I do that, I'm looking around at this place that I call home here in Hawaii and why it's so different from Asia. What about it is so different? Why is it such a different type of environment from the places that I enjoy traveling in Asia, like Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines? Why do I find these places to be more convenient? Is it just a cost of living? Because, I mean, that's a fair answer, cost of living. But there's something else to the way that they design their societies that I like. And I'm going to introduce these ideas to you today during this video. We're also going to go have ourselves a great bite to eat. Now that we're back in Hawaii, I'm going to show you some fantastic places to grab some food. We're going to stop and grab ourselves a nice cup of coffee as well and enjoy ourselves. I'm really happy to be back. It's nice to see family. And it's always nice to transition back towards Southeast Asia, which has really become my home more or less now at this phase in my life. And I'm glad that you came along with. Let's enjoy ourselves and some good conversation here in East Honolulu. Let's go. Beautiful Hawaii Kai. I love it out here. It's a wonderful place to live and it's fun just to walk around. It's a very walkable part of the city. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how cities are designed here in America and how different they are designed in Asia. The two could not be more different. So let's talk about the differences and what we think about them. I want you to take a look at this intersection. This is in a suburb right here in Honolulu. This is a busy intersection area where people live. Thousands of people live here. There's no shops, nothing. This is the way that we live in America. This is how our cities are designed. We have intersections where there's no commerce. People just live there. Thousands of people live in that area. There's no little mini mart anywhere. There's no gas station. There's no food trucks. There's nothing to sustain you. You have to either drive somewhere for an hour to find anything or you have to go to a local strip mall which won't have what you need and it'll be very expensive. This is why America is not Asia. In America, we bunch all of our stores together in little strip malls. You have to have a car to get there or take all day in a bus to get there. It's not efficient. It's just the way we do it. Try to walk anywhere. You are looking at kilometers of walking and walking. There's no convenience stores along the way. I can't pick up a Diet Coke. I can't rest and get a coffee, nothing. Asia designs their neighborhoods so that they're self-sustainable. People that live in a neighborhood in Asia find all of these services right there waiting for them. They find food carts on every intersection. They find a mini mart on every intersection. And that mini mart is 24 hours. They find the ability to refill their vehicles. All of that's available in Asia, in every intersection. It doesn't require that you own a car. Here in East Honolulu is a very good example. All the shops are clumped together in these little shopping centers. And if you need anything major, you gotta drive all the way into town. I mean, let's talk about transportation. If you're in Asia, you don't have to have a vehicle. You can have a small scooter, but you can also get around just fine. And they have transportation, public transportation that works. They have small vehicles that will get you a short distance, like one or two kilometers for very cheap. They have uh, these rail systems that will get you all over. And those rail systems, they cost you like a dollar to get anywhere in town, but here, if you want to take a rail system or something like that, either they don't have it, which right here, we don't. We have no rail system. 
If you want to take a bus somewhere, you might as well spend the rest of your morning stopping and picking up people the whole way. There's no fast way to get to anywhere that you need to be. You have to have a car or you have to take a slow bus system. It's very inefficient, it's very expensive, and it doesn't work. The way that the rail systems are designed in Asia is that they quickly get you from one main place to another throughout the city. They will blast you from point A to point B for less than a dollar. You can take them across town and the stops are very quick. They take you there fast. We don't have anything like that. Here in America, you know, some of our cities, they'll have rail systems. They just lumber along. They're filled with homeless people doing drugs. Nothing like what you're gonna find in Asia. It's a very different setup and I'm not interested in it anymore. I'm not interested in the inefficiency. I'm not interested in the overpricing of trying to get around. I'm not interested in the paying for the high-end products that aren't that good. I'm not interested in paying for a lifestyle that is not free. Freedom is more important to me and I am no longer finding that here. It's quite interesting to say that, to find that the more that I'm paying to live in the US, the less freedom that I'm finding. It's the truth. We pack all of our services into strip malls. Everything is packed together in a little strip mall. That's where you have to go to get anything done. And good luck getting anything done. If it's not there, well, spend the rest of your day traveling into town. Your, your whole day is shot because you need to go pick an item up. That's just not an efficient system, you know? And I think that it has caused me to be very happy to no longer live in this Western, especially American system of, do you have a car and you live basically nowhere in a suburb someplace? I'm not interested in it anymore. There is a lot of talk about these 10 minute cities where within 10 minutes of walking, you can get anything you want. They say they're gonna do it in the West, but they don't, but they've already done it in the East. Oh, look at this beautiful sunset. Let's go grab ourselves a bite to eat. After all, we're back in Honolulu. Let's go. <laughs> Bale is a beloved place here in Honolulu. And here when you come late, they even turned on the karaoke machine. That's not uncommon at all. Tong, the owner, is serving up some Masaman curry. This is one of my favorite, and I love the flavor. Yeah. Located near Honolulu Airport, Bale is a great place to stop in. Lunchtime and dinner packed. Look at that. Okay, okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, this is a popular over here. Oh my. Oh. We're gonna need an appetite. I like the traditional sticky rice. I, I like it this way. And then back up. Just remember it's reliable, dependable. Always make sure you It's big. It traveled well. People who eat here 10 times a week. Who work down at the airport, work long shifts. There's spicy basil chicken, 
so many great dishes even a wonderful vietnamese chicken sandwich not made too hot for me but yep there's some peppers in there oh just look at that look at how fresh that is oh awesome. a nice coconut curry soup this is great they have all the different vegetables in there i love this this is not too hot either Thank you for spending some time with me. We're back in East Honolulu. We're gonna be seeing a few friends and enjoying ourselves, grabbing ourselves a bite to eat in a few places, and basically just kind of getting a chance to say hello to family as we get ready to head on back towards Southeast Asia for the rest of the year. And I'm glad that you're coming with me. We have a lot more to see. There's a lot more places to go. We're gonna to continue to look around Hawaii, but we're also going to start heading back towards the east, enjoying Asia. And I'm curious of what countries we're going to go to, what we're going to see a whole year ahead of us to enjoy ourselves. And you know what? I'm glad that you're going to come with for that. Like and subscribe the video. Let's have some fun. And let me know where you think I should head to this year in Asia. All right. I'll let you go now. Aloha. Look who it is. It's the mad dog right here. Yes, it is. How you doing? How you doing? It's the mad dog. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Is this your toy right here? Is that your toy? Yeah. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Yes, you all. You're the mad dog. Yes, you all. Yeah. What's this right here? Is this the other mad dog? Yeah, here's the other mad dog right here. Yeah, oh, you're a good mad dog. Yeah, are you keeping this place safe, huh? <laughs>